We don't have slow mo, so we gotta do this. Listen to my foot, dude. Yeah, dude. Check it. Check out the dexterity. Whoa! Future stuntman. No. Do the ridge foot. It's a little bit dirty. What? <laughs> Super foot Wallace. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Super foot Wallace. <laughs> Welcome back everybody to another sick ass episode of <laughs> Off the Record. And today we've got so funny. Jeremy in the building. Hey. <laughs> Bart almost introduced my introduction. I mean interrupted my introduction, but You should have interrupted yourself. You you, should, you laughed you should, at yourself. You just shut up, dude. Yeah. You laughed and I was What like, is that a small on you? Why are you wearing a small Yeah, it's a tiny shirt. Uh, That's because it's a kind of bigger boy shirt. shirt. Yeah. Go check it out. Yeah, you should. Size, you really? you want to look buff. That being said, what's up, Jeremy? What's up? Dude, Thanks everybody for knows me. you here. Yay! Jeremy! Yay! Welcome! Sensei Jeremy. Legends, Plus. legends. I Sensei Jeremy. Yeah. Sensei San Jose. Yeah. Weird, because that's like not a thing to me. What do you mean? Like, I, I don't know. I, I've always like watched you guys on YouTube. Like as a kid growing up, like I said, I would be like laughing in the corner and just remember that guy. All, yes. <laughs> <laughs> show on camera. Show on camera. <laughs> That's how I know Bart, right? <laughs> Growing up. And yeah. so, no, we came up in the circuits together. <laughs> oh yeah, totally. Yeah, we came yeah. up in the in the KKST. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Taekwondo circuits. <laughs> yeah. T K K K D. Steve <laughs> Toronto. Yeah. No, but I mean, it's just weird. It's it's cool. It's like a little full circle for me. So thank you for having me, dude. Thanks thank for you. coming, man. Well, you're the man, dude. Yeah, you're a legend in the the stunt space. In the stunt so space. So I hear. I mean. <laughs> I hope not a legend. Yeah, I'm, I'm young, man. I, I got a a lot young legend is kind of cool, no? But you're still older than 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 Nick. Am I older than you? How old are you? How old are you? I'm 31. I just turned 31. Everybody's older than 31. Hey, fuck you, dude. <laughs> Take that back. Wait, time out. You're 34, and that's still considered young for the space? It's not. No, that I've been doing stunts for 15 years. Dude, legend. Bro. Shh, legend. So you know what I'm talking about? Young legend. Wow. I was like the. Uh, <laughs> I was like right out of high school, like went straight to ninja school. That's cool. Right. How did you get into it? Most people don't like, oh, people want to be the star. Yeah. They don't want to be like, oh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know about ninja school. How do you roll for that? Like, how many credits do you need for ninja yeah. school? It's like, no one's dream is to be the henchman. <laughs> but you're. <laughs> well, I mean, shit. Like, everybody wanted to be Jackie Chan, right? Yeah. And I was like, I'm going to be better than Jackie Chan. Like, when I was a kid, my confidence level was. Like through the roof. I was as like, it should be. I would be watching stuff and I'd be like, I could do that. Yeah. I haven't even done it yet. I'm like I could do that. Yeah, yeah. I could do that. <laughs> and then like, but I'd be the idiot. marshmallows. Yeah. <laughs> These guys suck. <laughs> but I'd be the idiot who actually go out and do it. So like, I remember my like, my grandma yelled at me because I was like 11, and we had this little grassy area in front of the house, and I like climbing houses. I would chill <laughs> on top of houses. So like, you know, my grandma had this little one-story house. And she came out one day and I was like doing side flips into the grass. And I was 11. And she was like, I didn't even know you could do that. Like, I, <laughs> I just saw it and then just. He's doing break there was balls. Because no, like, yeah. then I wouldn't, I wouldn't do the progression thing that they do now. Like I learned how to do progressions to teach. So I became yeah, a really good yeah. teacher. But I didn't have a progression. I Were you just good that. at like just. Just committing because it's so scary to like yeah. do a lot of those moves. Well, so I would go, I would go, I could do that, and then if I can't, I'm tough. Like that's yeah. that was my mentality. That's a good mentality. So I would. Are you do... just missing that one thing yes. in your brain where you just have like no fear? Because uh, no. we fear everyone. <laughs> no. We fear everyone. Fear everyone. <laughs> Is that what that says? Yeah. 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 It almost does. <laughs> you want to get one? <laughs> you want to join the group? <laughs> Wait, do you all have that? Yep. Nope. What? <laughs> Bart has it on both. On the shit yes. of all look. things. Hey, look, look he has it on both. <laughs> Double fear everyone. <laughs> We're very afraid of everyone. I like that as a motto though. I like We that. also have a screw oh, loose. Should, you you should though because you know, <laughs> people don't have fucking manners anymore. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like we were just talking outside like Everybody does MMA these days. Everybody knows how to do jujitsu. Jiu Everyone knows how to shoot. Yeah. Shoot. Everyone owns a gun. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Everyone goes to Terran Tactical. <laughs> Terran Tactical. <laughs> all the YouTubers go to Terrans. Yeah. yeah. Especially yeah. the OnlyFans girls. Yeah. yeah. They know how to shoot. Everybody know how to shoot. Yeah. Everybody can shoot. So, like now more than ever, everybody's got to be good at martial arts. I was just an idiot who was like. Yeah, I could do that, and then if I don't, I'll be okay. <laughs> I'd smash my face a couple times, and I'd be like, "That sucked. I don't want that happening again." So, one one time on your question feet. for all the like layman's, like the idiot fans, like myself out there. When you talk about like uh, 
you learned progressions to teach like what's a progression so like if you wanted to learn a 540 kick right sure what is you, that uh it's where you do in in taekwondo it's called a tornado kick uh where you spin and you jump off your front foot spin 360 in the air and kick right 540 you would land on your kicking leg and so some people do it with a round kick or uh inside crest it look like this Trump, 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 Trump. Like this? Trump. You kick. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah, yeah, exactly. land on this leg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You, had to, you had to get up to show us that. Wow. <laughs> you could have just did this. <laughs> yeah. I think yeah. Steve. I think Steve does a version of that. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm, I'm showing you guys so you guys have a get a better visual than yeah. a chair. Yeah. We don't have slow mo, so we gotta do it. Who's my slow. fucking foot, dude? Yeah, dude? Check it. Check out the dexterity. Whoa. Future stuntman. No. See that? Do the ridge foot. It's a little bit dirty. What? <laughs> Super foot Wallace. <laughs> okay. Super foot Wallace. <laughs> okay, so the progression of that, for example. So, for example, is you would learn the step, right? And then uh, you would learn the kick by itself without the spin. And then oh, you would spin. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so it's like what it's like what people will be doing on TikTok nowadays, where they're like, learn step this one. trick right here, and yeah. then they do it, and then you think you could do it because it looks easy, but you can't. Yeah. They did it in 30 yeah. seconds. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so like as a kid, I didn't un I didn't know that it was either do or don't. Got it. So like the reason I started boy. martial arts because my dad caught me one day and I was doing a tornado kick and I was Whoa. three and he was like <laughs> That's fucking oh, crazy. Fuck. Where'd you do that? Where, where'd you learn that? And I was like, we always watch Bruce Lee together and I just did it. And he was like, okay, you're going to Taekwondo. So we oh, went to Taekwondo. Sick. We couldn't wow. afford it, so I left Taekwondo after two months. Taekwondo is a money scam, huh? Yeah, yeah it's I mean, a fucking. They got like twelve belts before you're like age four. Yeah, because they just want to fucking make you pay for testing. Yeah. Keeps you in there. And, and then it, even if you suck, they give you the belt because yeah. they want you to feel like you can move to the next belt. Yeah. And then each belt has another fucking stripe, stripe, stripe. Uh, Alright, dude, you're exposing too much. Yeah, it's a scam. <laughs> Did you not move up? <laughs> Look, no, I got second degree black belt, but I never deserved it. Oh shit! That's what I'm saying. The sick. It's a sick. Oh, I must have invested a lot. Well. Uh, the the thing about martial arts, like what people forget, is like you're paying rent, right? So until you prove yourself in a competition or something, then you're you're a guy. That's why when people are like, Jeremy, you're a dick when you teach, because I'm really hard on people. And I'm like, no, no, no. I want you to be good, just like the old Asian dads would be like, no, you have to be good, right? But like in the American, like Western society, like nobody's used to that. They're like, oh, you have to be nice. You have to let them progress on their own, and but then you have to let them. Pass the test and get their yellow belts with their friends. Like that makes no sense. Everybody's yeah. progressing on their own and then yeah. getting the belt at the same time. What? What are we teaching them? It's like, you know what I mean? So, anyways, they. I was always a hard one, right? In, and I I push people, um, but I had to learn how to be progressive and like do a, a nice progression for when I train actors and stuff like that. But oh, because actors are weak, bro. No, 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 no. <laughs> Yeah, which one is the weakest? Yeah, they're actor. more it, they're just more in touch with their emotions. Actors complain <laughs> all the time, bro. Oh my god, this water is not as cold as it Oh can't do anything right. <laughs> they complain. <laughs> we can't even finish the sentence. Oh, <laughs> oh fuck this. I think we have it good though with our actors, cause like I think everybody by now has seen all the BTS of John Wick. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Everybody's seen Keanu. Okay. So now every time people walk into our gym with the blue floor, they're like, well, I can't bitch out Keanu. Uh, so like we've been getting really lucky. It's like, a great I'm bar sorry. to set, yeah. Yeah, I don't think yeah. I've had like a bad attitude actor since like. But Keanu <laughs> doesn't seem like a diva. I mean like there's all these stories about how humble he is. Like there's yeah. all these like articles I read out of nowhere where like look at him and there's a picture of him just chilling on the subway like a normal human being. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. There's like yeah. 50 yeah. photos of him just him on the subway. Yeah. Did and you like, see the video that just came out where he got oh. pissed off? Some guy was like yeah, forcing him signing. Yeah. He he was like forcing him He's to give an autograph. Yeah. And the guy was like, I get it, man. He's like, No, you don't get the fucking point. And then still, still signed it, it yeah. <laughs> throws it, and he's like, I just want time to myself. But it's like an eBay guy. It wasn't like a fan. Yeah, it was like yeah. a, it was like a reseller. Yeah. Those guys are the worst. So they hunt you down with stacks, and then they'll just be like, you sign this. <laughs> but he still signed it. Yeah. He still signed it. Still signed it. What a, what a nice guy. Him, what a G. I would have given him the bird, and I would have walked away. I would have been like, no. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Keanu Reeves. I can't punch you, so you get one of these. <laughs> so who's that bad attitude in 2015? Just first name is okay. Oh. 
It starts with an R. Remo Lu. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Remo. <laughs> Remo Williams. Remo Williams, bro. <laughs> Remo Liu. Nah, uh, Remo got a good attitude. Bro. Take that back. <laughs> it's Remo Liu. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that was so fast. <laughs> Remo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. I was so intimidated coming here too because I was like, comedians are so intimidating. Why? You guys are so fast. I'm not a comedian. <laughs> Bullshit. No, Bullshit. I'm not. I never did a stand up show. <laughs> that's ever. fair. Didn't you do a stand up show? At the last As Uncle Chin. Let's go, Jitsu That wasn't him, yeah. man. <laughs> Straight. That yeah, wasn't Bart him. Bart took a stand up class and did a stand up show. <laughs> That's I, deflecting. I went, I went and clapped. Yeah. It was good. Did you say that's deflecting? Yeah. <laughs> it is. Like, what is your favorite all-time martial arts movie? Do you have a oh, number? I hate this question. Yeah. Really? Why? Because really? I hate martial arts movies. Really? What? But so that's what got you why? into it, though. Didn't it get you into but you it? But you don't like it like that was my childhood. There's stunts in rom-coms. <laughs> well, that's the thing. Like, Usually like, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Is it one of those things where because you work behind the curtain, it's been kind of ruined for you because you're too... Not at all. Oh, really? like when I see a movie that I like yeah. because I know what it takes now, now I appreciate it more. Oh, okay. Like for the most part, when you say like martial arts movies, I like, I like like... I get into my feels and stuff. Yeah. So three ninjas. Like, yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah, yeah dude. That's a good market, bro. That's my favorite one. Tom Tom. <laughs> Why are you always eating right, stuff? Right. <laughs> You know when they're running on the the boards on the water? Have yeah. you remember? Oh, that? the Japan yeah. one. I tried that so oh. many times. Yeah. Oh. Just, as a kid, oh. I would just set up cardboard, not thinking it's not waterproof. Yeah. Just like, <laughs> stick to the bottom. So soggy. <laughs> that that movie blew working. my mind. The Japanese one. Yeah. Cause I was like, I at, growing up, I watched Jet Li, Bruce Lee, all that stuff, and there was always these moves are done by adults. Yeah. And then when I saw Three Ninjas, I was like, yeah. wait. I can do this? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Or surf ninjas, like yeah, surf, surf, yeah. All or right. surf ninjas. Or sidekick. Sidekick. Dude who had asthma, and I was like, yo, dude, I can relate. <laughs> <laughs> I have a pretty problem <laughs> too. <laughs> he's the geek. <laughs> I was like, he's kind of a loser too. <laughs> Sidekicks with asthma? What, no, no, sidekick, the, the dude with Chuck Norris. Yeah, yeah. Every single time he had like an asthma fit, he would go into like his yeah. fantasy of like being a sidekick to Chuck Norris. No, I know, but it's just funny how you were like, yeah, he's kind of a loser too. It makes him kind of cool. Like, imagine like your your stick was like, I could do sidekicks and I have asthma. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they made asthma seem way dorkier than it is. Yeah. You didn't grow up on like, Fuck you guys. like <laughs> Van Damme movies and like. like no, I did though. I did oh, yeah, though. Yeah. But like. But yeah, you've seen so much now. It's like, I which like, is your favorite? Let's say like when I was a kid, I loved um, Unleashed because. Oh, yeah. Which one's that one? Unleashed, what, Danny the dog because Jet Li, Jet Li was like this man dog who oh. they would like take off the collar and he would go and you know kill people. Sure. Yeah. Then you like look at it and you're like, it's not a good movie. It's not my favorite movie. Oh, like, I see, I see. I'd rather watch Inglorious Bastards. But yeah, 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 as a kid, yeah. though, as a kid, it's different. But that's also yeah, why you watch martial arts sometimes, right? You don't watch it for like how sick the acting is. Yeah, that's yeah. true. That's like, true. Um, I don't know, man. My favorite movie as a kid was Bloodsport. Okay. And then. As an adult, when you watch it, it's so good because it's funny. Yeah, there's this yeah. one scene where he fucking slices his hat, right? Because he's trying to steal the sword. He slices his hat, and then he ha has like a like a montage into like some other, like he daydreams or whatever. And then you realize there's like act one, act two, act. There's like fucking that thing's way. His fucking daydream is way too long. And you're like, what the fuck? I could have sworn it was like 30 seconds, but it was like 15 minutes. And then he comes back to like. With this French accent. <laughs> yeah. You're like, what the fuck? Why is that his head though? Like, <laughs> That's how the French talk. Right after his hat got sliced, he's just been standing in the room like this. <laughs> like, as an adult, it's so fucking dumb. But as a kid, oh, it's. So when I watch it, I still have kid eyes when I watch it. Hey, did you ever fucking like glue rocks to your hands after you <laughs> yeah. Fucking put honey and shit. <laughs> and broken glass. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's sick. It was no. so fun. I guess for me it was like Rumble in the Bronx. That's Rumble in the Bronx. Oh, that's, my oh. that's, that's my Bible, dude. Yeah. Because yeah. I mean, where's Angelo? Oh, where is he? You said there's no good acting in. Martin. Yeah, dude. What about the kid, yeah, bro? Nick. The kid's my favorite. Yeah, Keo. <laughs> 
my chair. Yeah. My I wish my legs were like other kids. <laughs> I remember I had, to, I had to fucking pause that movie. You know when he threw the homie through the wood chipper? Yeah. I remember yeah. I was like, I don't feel they so good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> <laughs> no way! Yeah, cause I was like, that's fucking crazy! That made you queasy? Yeah, that guy got shredded. And <laughs> I, I had a fear that like randomly a gang was gonna stick me in an alley and like yeah, yeah. fat bottles yeah. at me. Fat bottles, dude. And like, like, yeah, that movie had everything. It had yeah, a hot Asian right. girl. You had like a minority making it in New York, yep. beating people up, or and a hovercraft, oh, and a hovercraft, yeah. a yeah. hovercraft. It's, it's Next it's level. Had, our boss is not White Tiger. <laughs> 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 That's the best line. Doesn't it start with him like being um, handstanding in an yeah. apartment? Yeah. And, and then he's doing like, he's doing mukjong and stuff, dude. And he opens the door. Yeah. <laughs> that movie is so good. It's so good, man. Got the I didn't rewatch it. So that's your favorite, Rome on the Bronx? I would, I would say because for me, it wasn't so like, we're trying to do kung fu. It was like the... Uh, the it's just the yeah, story. Yeah, yeah oh, the yeah. story. It. Like, uh, it was cool that I remember having a crush on the chick. Yep. Uh, and then yeah. learning how to jump from things all the time. Like, I didn't have a two-story house, so my, my uncle had one. So I would jump from the, the stairs to... <laughs> Oh, Anywhere. <laughs> right, oh my down. god. Yeah, I would just hop the rail and try to make it to the couch. How many broken yeah. bones you got? Um, I broke my ankle, but that wasn't until I was an adult. Um, I had a bone chip in my knee, but again, adult. I've separated my shoulder. Adult. I've been unconscious a bunch of times. From all oh. the stunts you've done? Usually not. What? Yeah. It's like in training or? Yeah, so I mean, our, our biggest job, like if, if you ever like, like a lot of our videos talk about what it takes to be a stunt guy. Our, our main thing is how to do it, make it look dangerous and be safe. Mm. So if I get hurt or if anybody gets hurt, it, we take that as a fail. It's not like what you think where yeah. it's like, yeah, I'm tough, do stunts, right? It is like there's a point to where, you know, things can only be so safe. Like if I'm going to hit you with a car, I got to hit you with a car. Like. <laughs> Fuck. You you do, Holy shit, dude. you do what you can. You wear your pads and you no, you do a couple guy. test runs. But but there's a point where you you just face the music and you go. I signed the contract today. Let's go. How many times have you been hit by a car, dude? In John Wick alone, probably yeah. like just in the fourth one. Just, yeah, in, just the in the fourth, fourth one, one, I probably did like just yeah. in the roundabout scene. Yeah, yeah, four or five. That's the craziest scene, scene ever, dude. Well, like, so that shit was so cool. So on John Wick, the safety thing that we did was. Um, Chad wanted us to be able to do oneers because usually in a you watch a TV What's show. So oneer, oneer like, a long like shot? long takes. Oh, one shot. So Chad's like the crazy guy who's like anything that takes a lot of people like people to do a big setup like one car hit right. Usually you do one car hit and then it's like cross your fingers one car hit okay cut is he okay okay good. Well, Chad was like, I want to be able to do three to four car hits in a section where Keanu Reeves is weaving through traffic and fighting. Jesus Christ. Oh my so God. So legit. I got with our stunt coordinators like like Scott Rogers and, and Stephen Dunleavy and we coordinated with our riggers. Like we built this platform that had two cars that were on sleds or like um, tracks that would just go by the push of a button. Oh, wow. And, and then we put that next to a spring floor and then next to that was like a wooden platform where real cars could drive. And so we would start with a real car hit. And then as he was fighting, as he was going through, those um, sled, the cars on sleds, they were just padded pieces of wood. And then they would CG cars onto it. And so you would set the speed of those cars. And then what we would do is we had people on wires. So in the middle of all these cars going through and them fighting, I would, I would be able to go, okay, camera's gonna go over here, this guy's gonna hit, get hit by the car, we'll follow, follow Keanu that way, shoot that, that guy, dodge this car, step in front, get hit by the CG car. And I mean, it was still, it was kind of sketchy because as a stunt guy, I don't know why this is weird, but when we were getting the Japanese guys, the French guys, and the German guys to get hit by the fake cars, Everybody was more sketched out because we're so used to getting hit by real cars. <laughs> oh. You know when you go to uh, Six Flags and you hear the Superman fucking. Yeah. 
Yeah. That's what they sounded like. That's oh, scary as hell. Oh, like unfamiliar, like. Shit. It was unfamiliar yeah. sounds. So you felt like a puppy going like, where is it coming? Where is it coming? And then you're like trying to fight Keanu and shoot and look like a badass. But you hear it. You're like, here it comes. Boom. Yeah. And you would take those hits. So the timing is also not what you're used to because you're yeah, used to you're just not, a car moving. You're not training well, with so sleds. You're used to brrrr. Yeah, I mean for me, like working with stunt people, so I I got to do like LXD stuff with John Chu. Oh, yeah. So I knew how to like do stuff on account. I knew how to like that's their system. Yeah, and I knew okay, so now like usually we're like, okay, the ballet dancer's gonna come out while the crumpers do this and the b-boys do that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so for me it was like, okay, our playground is this, cars are going that way, okay, Keanu's gonna make it this way. So in the first few beats he's gotta have past three cars. Those three cars are gonna be the visual cue for the first guy to come out. He gets shot. And every piece of the equation is just like choreographing dance. How, yeah, how many it. times do you have to like, or how long of choreographed practice do you have to do before you're like, okay, let's do our first take? Okay, so there's a lot of political stuff that went on on John Wick 4, so I had to create that fight scene within three days before we shot it. Jesus Christ. Three wow. days? I created that with, uh, we had a French team, and their coordinator was Laurent. Um, he kind of had, yeah, Laurent. He was dope. <laughs> he was dope. <laughs> and then we had uh, a German team. And I feel like every time you say someone's there. name, I go, I hear a guy, like, I see a guy pop out of line. It's me. <laughs> Thanks for the plug. Badass. <laughs> Laurent. And then uh, we had Koji from Japan. Um, also cool. And then, um, <laughs> the coolest names ever. Jesus Christ. So we all, like my job was, like I didn't just choreograph everything. I, it, I would, my job is to take the ideas of everybody and then make them work, right? Make it cohesive. And so um, in the three days, like Chad was like, I need this done by this day. I'm like, fuck. So I've got to work with the riggers to to do the timing with the CG uh, car hits. We wanted them to have a little extra pop, so we'd pop them on the hit and we'd pull them out and see where they fly or try to coordinate where they're gonna land. And um, yeah, it was nuts. And so how after that, like, that set, how long of rehearsal do you guys need? I mean, we no. didn't like that show. That movie happened so fast in my brain. Yeah. The way Chad works, we're on such a He's on a, such a high uh, frequency when he works, and you either keep up or you fall off. And when you're keeping up, shit happens so fast that all of a sudden you're at rap. And you're like, what did I just do with my life? And then you count back, like, I got hit by five cars, I fell down 20 stairs, I fucking, I did this many wire gags, I got bit by fucking, you know, three dogs 40 times, like, <laughs> Oh shit, dude! Jeremy, yeah, like, you died like twenty times in that one. Yeah, and and honestly, Whoa. I didn't even die the most. Like we have a guy like Bruce who's on my team, Bruce and Lee. Uh, sorry, Lee is Bruce Chinese and guy. Lee. <laughs> Jackie and Chen. These Lee. names are the coolest names ever. Lee Chang, Lee Chang or Chung Lee. He's uh he's a Chinese guy, and then Bruce uh, Conception. Uh, they died the most. Like they were in every scene. You they know a guy like, named Bruce Conception? Conception. <laughs> Filipino, cool, from man. the he's from like yeah, oh, dude, another guy. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and those guys actually died more than me because yeah. the thing was like when we did the sequence in the Japan, the Osaka Continental, um, Chad wanted a bunch of escalator falls, and we actually oh, oh yeah, God. that's yeah. the worst. And to, to be honest, you know people watch John Wick movies and they go ah, it's too much action. The no. first cut that I watched to the end, we've cut out 30 to 40 minutes of, of just punching and kicking action, like shooting and stuff. What the oh, that's fuck? So, they need to do an extended version yeah. where you're just like fucking wow, bleeding yeah. from watching action. Just bone breaks. <laughs> yeah, so like, wow. like we actually, we actually, a lot of our shit didn't make it in. Like there was wow. one, there was one stunt where I did like, um, I did like a 14 foot uh, Sayochi like, from from a railing onto a, like a traditional Japanese table, oh and the table was breakaway, but nobody's like the the outer perimeter of it was like real like teak wood or something, and my from 14 feet smacking your ankle like that oh. and going through a breakaway table like that was bad. Oh um, my god! Couldn't walk correctly for like two weeks, but Chad on the, in that sequence he was like. You're not allowed to do any escalator falls. Like you remember the one that went viral, the guy flying down the escalators. Yeah. He, I was like, I'll do it. He's oh like, my god. You can't. I'm like, why? He's like, 
if you get hurt, this is the first sequence in the movie. Like, I need you for the rest of the show. You're, you're coordinating things. You're not just dying. It's like, okay, fine. And then we get, and then in the middle of like winter in Germany, we're doing the French, the the Arc de Triomphe scene. We're getting hit by cars, and I'm like, you let letting me get hit by cars? <laughs> <laughs> but I couldn't fall down escalator. He would just, he would just laugh. He was like, That's well, crazy. he's like. As the show goes on, I can I can bet more. Like, okay, well, if he gets hurt, we only have this sequence left. Or if he right. gets hurt, it's oh you know. You're just bartering with him for how many times you can die. <laughs> Jeez. I'll get set on fire five times if I get hit by a car. This is an amazing conversation. We're gonna have to cut this video and go into a part two though because we're all <laughs> fucking fascinated. Just kidding news, careful boys, is a brand. Just kidding news is the man of smart people. The people of just kidding news, careful boys, they are very smart. Just kidding news, the number one podcast in the world. <laughs>